Now, you know, married people are, are interesting folks. I've been married now <clears throat> longer than dirt. <clears throat> I've been married a long time. Married my high school sweetheart. He is the love of my life. Met him sitting right behind me in speech class when I was in the 10th grade. Yes, he's so precious. <laughs> he's the only guy in speech class, but still. <clears throat> Now, he's a wonderful fellow. We've been married 20 years, and uh, it's been glorious. Thank you for the enthusiasm. And so, <laughs> but married people are, are funny folks. You can tell couples have been married a long time. They start kind of looking alike. <laughs> have you noticed that? They're the ones early at the mall doing the little walk around. <laughs> they have the matching outfits. My husband would kill me if I bought matching outfits for him. Look, let's go to the mall, dear. There is no way he's going to dress like his wife. <laughs> it's just so funny, but married folk crack me up. There are some things that happen along the way, I think, in married life that are funny and some things that aren't so funny. And I decided that tonight, rather than to tell you about these things, I'd just show you. <laughs> show and tell. Goes a little something like this. Scared me to death. You were born scared. Oh. Man can't even walk through his own house. Well, for heaven's sakes. I looked at the clock a little bit ago. I think she's starting her first class right now. I've been thinking about her all day. You know, it's going to be real quiet around here with her and Collie. <laughs> well, that's what I need to talk to you about. It's really hard to believe, but um, I don't think it's going to be that quiet around here for long. You're kidding. I'm, I'm so glad you're thinking about this, too. Glad? I am devastated. No, We're too old to start this again. No, 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 no don't be devastated. Listen, listen, uh, you don't have to do anything. You just... Sit back and watch. I'll do all the work. Well, I appreciate that, dear, but I think I have a little something to do in all of this. Okay, okay. You can pick out the color. The color? What in the world are you talking about? Color. I've been looking through this magazine planning what we can do with her room. It's unbelievable. I've been drawing out sketches ever oh, since last summer. Good gravy. The exercise equipment is getting just really compact now. We can even move the treadmill in our bedroom mm. down, to the, down to her room. It'll be great. Yes, we'll have room in our little room for a bassinet. We're not that old. <laughs> Grandkids are... Grandkids are, are like years away. She isn't oh. even dating anybody I yet. am not talking about her. Why is it men cannot... <laughs> men can't take a hint. You have to spell everything out for you. You're not listening to a word I said. Are you thinking about that sewing room again? <laughs> you have not picked up a needle and thread for years. You know, it's hard to thread a needle, dear, when you're throwing up in the toilet every morning. The last time that I saw you sew was when we went on that uh, second honeymoon anniversary oh, thing that yes. you wanted to be so romantic, so uh -huh. you brought needlework. There's a turn on for you. <laughs> That was the last time I saw you make anything. That was the last time we made anything. I 
should have sewed more that weekend. Isn't that, isn't that where we saw that sauna thing? <sighs> That would be a great know. idea. Put a sauna right in there next to the weights. The weights? Uh, weights, weights. We've been talking about exercise equipment. Weights go with exercise equipment. When are women going to learn oh, to listen? Oh, good Lord. Weights will be great. Oh, they'll be great. Six pounds and nine ounces worth of great. Six pounds, nine ounces. I'll have you know I'm up to ten pounds with each arm. You are married to one 43-year-old stud <laughs> muffin. Right. Yes. That's true, little cupcake, and you're 45. 45, 43. Who cares? What I'm getting at is when she comes home mm -hmm. from college, yes. she isn't going to recognize us. We're going to be, in eight or nine months, we're going to be different people. In eight or nine months, we're going to be more people. I don't know why you're so upset about this. You know what? You're just afraid. You're afraid to try something different. That's all. You're afraid to try something different. It's going to be mm -hmm. great. You don't have to worry about it. You know what? It'll be like... Uh, it'll be just like this. Look at here. It'll Look. be like giving birth. No, it'll be like this. We could build shelves in the corner right there. See that? You could make that a changing table. That's a good idea, but let's make it a changing room. There'll be more privacy. We could have our own, have our own YMCA right oh, there. It'll be our own little Y, all right. W-H-Y. And see it now. Yes. Mirrors from the ceiling to the floor. Oh. Uh, indoor, outdoor oh. carpeting from door to door. Yeah, all right. Weights. Mm-hmm. Little exercise machine. Oh. Where are you going? I thought you were going to tell me something. No, you know, I don't need to tell you anything. In about five or six months, I think you'll figure it out yourself. <laughs> Why spoil the surprise now? Surprise? Yes. It's a surprise? <laughs> oh, no. You're not. We're not. You got me a Bowflex machine. <laughs> Up because this is just the art of television. I'm not expecting. <laughs> that man is not my husband. <laughs> but he is a wonderful comedian and a great friend. Would you please thank my friend, Mr. Ken Davis? I am a 75. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you very much. Thank you, Shonda. It's been Love a delight. God bless you. Very much.